What's happening, everyone? Welcome. This is Whistlekick Martial Arts Radio. And on today's episode, we're going to tell you about something new that we're offering. But if you've been around a while, you know that we don't just turn this stuff into a commercial. We tell you why, how, how you might want to do it yourself, etc. Today, we're talking about our latest thing that we've done that's actually going really well, a school owner's mastermind as part of our Patreon. You probably have quite Jeremy, how are you? Even if you're not a school owner, stick around. Even if you have no willingness, time, whatever, stick around. I promise there's still value in this episode for you. We've got a good track record of pulling that off. Yeah. Anyway, if you're new to what we're doing, go to whistlecakemartialartsradio.com. Go deeper on the show. Check out all the episodes we've ever done. They're all available for free. Most of them have transcripts. So if you're searching for particular concepts within episodes, you uh, school, this is how, how I, not how I type, but school, <laughs> owner, help. I don't know. Punch that in. See what comes up. Yeah. You'll find something. We've done so many episodes. I mean, at this point, we've had 700 episodes. We've had over 700 episodes. We've covered at least roughly every subject you could think of. We keep going deeper on certain things like we do here. Whistlekick.com is our online home. It's the place for our store. It's the place to all the other projects and products that we do. If you want to pick something up, like maybe this mug, use the code podcast15, saves you 15%. Other ways that you can help us on our mission to connect, educate, entertain the traditional martial artists of the world, you can join our Patreon. It starts at $2 a month, seriously. Two bucks a month. We're going to tell you who's coming up on the show and give you some other stuff. And it goes up from there, including the tiers that we're talking about today, where there's a mastermind that uh, is an incredible deal if you know anything about masterminds. Uh, Whistlekick.com slash family is the place to go if you want the entire list of all the things that we have going on. Because why do we do what we do? Because we love traditional martial arts and mm -hmm. we want to see more people train. We want to see martial arts grow because let's face it. If you, if you take a look at what's going on in the world, just like take a 800 foot view, show me where more people training doesn't make a positive impact. It does. So that's why we do what we do because it's a way to make the world better. One person at a time. One person at a time. One episode at a time. One foot in front of the other. Got to keep moving. How you walk. That's true. Or step mm -hmm. for basics. Mm -hmm. One foot in front of the other. Sure. Unless you're doing them from a seated position. I, I was yeah. thinking, unless you're doing like Nahanshi, <laughs> Nahanshi, right? Techie. Techie. You Sorry. know, like that, that, the one on the wall, because then your feet are not in front of each other. But we digress, <laughs> as we often do. All right, this is a silly episode. But you know what's not silly, Andrew? All right. So here's the deal. We have a Patreon. We've had a Patreon for a while, and I have constantly looked for ways to increase the value. I've been very open. I see the world of business in terms of value exchange. Mm -hmm. I feel if we give you enough value, you will give us something back because you will feel like it's worth your while. You're getting something out of it. If if I gave you if I gave you ten dollars and said give me two dollars back, and it wasn't like a Nigerian prince email scam. Mm -hmm. You would do that all day long, wouldn't you? Yeah, it's a pretty, that's a good deal. It's a pretty good deal. If I said, I'll give you $10, you give me nine back. It's not as good of a deal, but it's still a pretty good deal. Yeah. Right? And that's what we try to do with what we do here at Whistlekick. We try to give you, we, we give you the best of what we do for free. We give you this show for free. We give you a lot of things for free. Our flexibility program is free mm. because the expectation is you see what we're doing. You get value from that. And you're maybe you're willing to take a risk or, or whatever else. But that doesn't mean that I'm not constantly looking at the value proposition and what we do and trying to increase it. Well, I mean, one of the things you said I've heard you say in the past, um, and I know it's been said on the show before, is that everything in life is a value exchange when yes. you really think about it. And the one you always brought up was you don't maybe you don't want to pay your taxes, but you value not going to jail. Right. You know, like you know, everything is comes down to this value exchange. And with Whistlekick, you have all put it a, at a priority that you want the value you give to the people that are supporting you greater than what they're giving you. Because they'll stick around. Exactly. If 
we've all ended up in some kind of relationship, whether that's a personal, professional, uh, a purchased relationship, you know, like you, you, you signed up for a service or something and it, it didn't, you didn't get the value out of it. Mm-hmm. So what happens? You mm-hmm. stop, you yep. stop doing it, right? If you've ever been in a romantic relationship where it was woefully one-sided, there's not a value exchange there. It's, it's unbalanced. It does. It's not sustainable. Yep. And so we're trying to create something that is not quite unsustainable, but overwhelming in your direction. And when I started looking at what we were offering in the very early days of the Patreon, it's like, okay, I look at what other people are doing with Patreon and at the highest tiers, they're offering access, direct access to themselves. Well, we did that, but people weren't really going in on the, the, the big tiers early on, probably because I'm pretty available. If you email me, I'm probably going to write you back. Gotcha. Yeah. If you email me and you're like, I have this problem and it doesn't make sense for the show, I'll probably say, well, let's set up a time and I'll chat with you. Right. Like I, I'm, I'm pretty open with, with my time in that way. Uh, that's not always a good thing for my, my sanity, but you know, I, I try to meet people where they're at. Mm-hmm. And I said, okay, this isn't working. You know, I, I love all the Patreon contributors, but let's face it from an economics perspective, I would love to have more people in the higher tiers. It, it duh. Yeah. Right. Of like course. That's, that's, that's pretty obvious. So how do we deliver as much value as we can? And I started looking around, what is the thing that we could do that we have available you know, it's not going to be like, oh, for $100, you can rent my Ferrari because I don't have a Ferrari, right? Like, that. obviously, that doesn't work. What do I have? I have time and I have knowledge. Mm-hmm. I have a bunch of consulting clients, some in, most out of the martial arts world, who actually pay quite a bit of money for my time. Oh, how do I do something like that? Yeah. Let's put a mastermind together. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what a mastermind is. Which I wasn't. I, like, I was not aware of what a mastermind was until you created one and said, oh, hey, cool. I'm doing one. Okay. Would you describe it then? I'm, I'm curious of your description, and if you get it slightly wrong, I'll fix it. So <clears throat> I, I want to see what your it is a a as you I understand it. it. Yeah, this is totally unrehearsed. I had never heard of it, and when you when it first came out, my first initial thought was, "Oh, it's like that." Um, I, I'm gonna blank on the name, but like a subscription service where you can download like the like you can learn how to cook with Chef Gordon Ramsay. Or master class. Master class. That's what I had in my head. Okay. Like, oh, it's it's like a master class kind of thing. Um, but then as it got into more describing what it was, and, and after talking to you some more, it 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 appears that that's not quite what it is. But that was my preconceived notion because I didn't know what a master sure. class was, um, or a, a mastermind. And so it's more of a think tank where mm, a group of people a get together and discuss a a group of like-minded people get together to discuss something to bounce ideas off of each other to help everyone yeah yeah and and that the last couple sentences you said there those that's the heart of it you bring people together of a like mind with like purpose to share and grow together now unfortunately much as I suspect many of you see these advertisements on social media. Buy my $39 pro. <laughs> You're rolling your eyes. Oh my Buy my $39 program and I'm going to solve all of these problems that you have. And we did an episode we on did. school owners marketing. And I see them for a variety of things. Unfortunately, masterminds have been pulled into that. Mm-hmm. And you ended up with masterminds that were for people building masterminds so they could sell and Right. And so there, there really wasn't any value. It was, it was kind of like an MLM multi-level marketing thing without any actual deliverable value. I'll teach you how to start a mastermind. That's not what this is. This is a school owner's mastermind. So we know who it's for and we know the subjects that we're talking about. Now, there are a lot of ways for us to learn information. Books. Yep. Hopefully you learn from this podcast. You could take a course. You can go to classes. The reason a mastermind is valuable, whether it's on the martial arts or any other subject, is that you are working from not the full body of knowledge, but the distillation of what the people in attendance think of the current topic. Yeah. So if I show up, let, let's take a non-martial arts example. Let's say we have a... Um, Gardening. Let's say we have a gardener's mastermind. 
if I'm having a having a problem with one of my plants, let's say the leaves are yellowing, and I'm like, oh, okay. So I can I can spend time on Google. I can I can read books. I can I can do. There are so many yeah. things I can do to potentially consume information. Or if I've got you know six, eight, ten people in my gardener's mastermind, on our next call I can say, hey, I'm having problems with this plant. The leaves are yellowing, and one of them's going to say. Okay, what's your water like? Okay, so it's not that. And another one says, oh, but it could be because if it's if the water's okay, but this nutrient yeah, yeah. is deficient, right? And so within a couple minutes, we end up with maybe two, three, four options of what my problem could be. And so, okay, so if it's this, you should do this. If it's this, you should do that. And, what, and what's great about this is the you come on asking this question. I'm having trouble with these leaves on this particular plant. Person A is like, oh, you know what? I had the same problem, same, like, this is what I worked out. This is what worked for me. And so you're like, oh, awesome. Well, then that person that had the answer for you might say, you know what? I'm having this issue, this other totally unrelated issue. And you're like, oh, hey, you know what? This is what works for me. It's an opportunity for everyone to share their stuff because not every, let's face it, not everybody knows everything. Not everyone can, can know everything. No one knows everything. Yeah. And that's why if you look at the, the word, I mean, everybody knows I like breaking down words, mastermind, right? Like this isn't novice mind. This isn't getting a bunch of people who don't know anything together. Yeah. This yeah. is a school. School owners essentially are going to know something about martial arts and training and learning and people because they've come up through the ranks, even if they yeah. weren't through some organized teaching program. Yeah. Yep. Even if they are new to owning a school, they have something to contribute. And that's what we're finding. So before we, we go more into what ours specifically looks like, let's say you're watching this and you're like, Jeremy, I have negative dollars. I'm there's nothing in the near future yep. where I'm going to be able to contribute and get this value. Now, first off, we have a project that is is going. Uh, we've talked about it a, a little bit. It is not ready for release. But I hear you. We have something that will knock people's socks off when it is ready for those of you with schools and no money. Because if you have a school and no money, it's really hard to get to a point where you're doing better because all the options require money. Yeah. We've got one that doesn't require money. Jeremy, how could you do We're getting there. We give you the best stuff for free. It's an interesting concept. People love it. The people I've shared it with, they're like, that's amazing. We're, we're going. It's just, it's taken a ton of time. But let's say you're not a school owner. You probably know people who do things that you're passionate about, maybe things related to your job. Yep. And I actually had one of these. I called it an accountability group back in the day. But oh, when I got my consulting work back off the ground, because I set it down for a few years while I was 100% in on whistle kick and ran out of money and needed some money. So I started consulting again. And reached out to a few people over social media and said, I'm putting together one of these groups. Who wants in? And we went through a couple iterations and it was really valuable. And I got a lot out of it. People got a lot out of it. We got together once in a while and shot the breeze. But we all learned as a result. We all got better because of everyone else's advice, experience. Exactly. Uh, push you know, in, in positive, challenging ways. And I think that most of us would benefit from something like this. Yeah. I mean, it's like rising tides raises all ships, you know, like everybody's going to grow from this experience, being involved in this sort of thing. Whether it's the whistle kick one or not, just getting like-minded people together to discuss a specific topic, it can be really, really great. If you value learning or mutual support or intellectually stimulating environments. These are all positive attributes here. I remember college and some of my favorite classes were classes that were essentially this concept. Some of my best philosophy classes were those where, yeah, we would read a thing and yeah. we'd come in and the first yeah. 10 minutes we'd be talking about this thing, but we would veer so far off course <laughs> that we're talking about anything and everything. And once in a while it would relate, but we were all contributing to each other's experience. It was a shared experience. If you've been to free training day, that's an example of a shared experience. A martial arts class is usually a shared experience. Yeah, small group, but yeah. Yep. There, there are reasons it might not be. But um, 
those shared experiences, if you've read what's, uh, there, there are books on this subject and I'm, I'm blanking on names. Flow state, group think, if you've heard those terms, yep, yep. those are things that can often happen in an appropriately administered mastermind. And that's why I wear that hat. I, I wear the administration hat because I've got a little bit of experience in interviewing. Yep, I know yep. how to let people talk. I know <laughs> I know when to, to shift people around and say, okay, well, okay, so so-and-so, what do you think about this? And it doesn't necessarily have to be run in that way. It can yeah. be on a completely pure level. But if someone's going to pay for a thing as they're paying for this, we make sure that they have the opportunity. You know, I want to make sure everybody has time to say their stuff and to yep, hear yep. And, and everything. But if you were going to have a mastermind that wasn't related to martial arts, what might you do it on? Oh, uh, without a doubt, it'd be drumming. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it just makes sense. That's like the it's thing I do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's what I do. Um, and and f f helping out new bands, bands that are just formed. Like that's it's it's difficult to do, and I've done it a number of times. Okay. Yeah. No, if you and because we've talked, there are people you learn from yep. in your world. If think of people who are roughly your level, right? Because like I would imagine that you are mid upper level. Yeah. In what you do. Okay. So let's let's not not talk about the the new drummers or sure. the mid drummers but like a loose collection of upper level drummers some folks who are a little bit above you mm -hmm. some folks who are a little bit below you what might you talk about if you had a drumming mastermind oh it would be <clears throat> drumming retention like how to keep drummer i mean it's honestly it's very similar to school owning a school we keep playing this either yeah you know keep bagpipe bands for those that don't know that's what i specialize in is teaching bagpipe bands and there are two sections to the band. There's the bagpipes and there's the drums. Mm -hmm. And bands are always constantly struggling to retain drummers, to keep drummers. Specifically involved. drummers? Yeah. Interesting. Um, it's because they don't get the glory of the bagpipes? I don't know. I don't know what it is. So there's, I mean, there, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of small reasons. But um, you know, just retaining membership in the organization and keeping people engaged and keeping people involved is huge. Um, and so having been a part of so many different bands, I've seen so many different things on how to help that. So if you were in a drumming mastermind, you might, you would have questions for others, but you would have plenty of experience to draw on to help others. Yeah. Do you enjoy helping other people? Oh, absolutely. Okay. This is the personality profile. Yeah. Right. Like we talked about like-minded people who like helping people. If you're a school owner, you probably like helping people. And if I know of groups like this that have popped up organically, they don't call themselves mastermind. Mm -hmm. They call them, you know, school owners groups and whatever. Sure, sure, sure. Familiar with with one I'm thinking of right now. It's got six, seven people, and they get together. I think it's monthly. Might be every other week because they're all in the same geographic area. Yeah, and yeah. they they support each other. They train together. They ask questions. They take turns, you know, who's leading the physical training. They take turns with, you know, who's kind of running the group. And it seems like it works really well. And if you have access to one of those that's in person, that's great. That's awesome. And you should probably do it. But not everyone does. Nope. And that's why we made this. So now it's time for the pitch. And what I'm going to ask you to do is, first off, ask me questions. Because you're not in the group. Yep, I'm not. Um, ask me questions if there are things that you don't understand about what I'm saying. And I think most importantly, draw, the, draw out any of the things that are universal to, you know, your, your hypothetical drumming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want to call it a drum circle. <laughs> it's so not a drum circle, but that's a nice visual. So, I mean, the thing that, that I would be curious to know, since I'm not in, I'm not in it because I'm not a school owner. Um, is what's the, I mean, uh, first off, how long has it been going on? Uh, we've had our third month. Okay. So it's only been a few months. Yep. Um, what's been the overall theme? Like what's the thing that people have most wanted help with? Or is it not even a help? It's just a, you know, talk amongst ourselves and figure out what's go what, what we can help each other. With. My sense is when we put this together. So, so here, here's what happened. We had 
the first person who, so we've, we've got our top two tiers. And, and, and this, I don't normally talk about the, the prices of the tiers in Patreon. We've got a $50 a month tier and a $100 a month tier at the top end. You know, there, there are ones lower, 2, 5, 10, 25. Those are the other tiers, right? I had one person in the $100 a month tier who I was doing just kind of like a, a private call with. And we would just, we would talk about martial arts. We would just kind of shoot the breeze. They were the first person in there. And I said, and, and it was after that that I said, you know, what if we put together, no, it was after the second person joined. That person was a, ran a school. And I said, you know, we already talk because I actually do consulting with this person. Okay. And I said, you know, we already talk. You already get like my time, my attention. What if we tried to do this? Mm -hmm. And that person was like, yeah, that would be cool. I, I would like that. So I implemented those changes and mentioned, I think I mentioned it on first cup and somebody else that owns the school went, Oh, that sounds great. And so between the two of them, like we, we worked out the concept, which is really loose. It's mm -hmm. once a month at a, a pre-scheduled time, you show up and we talk for an hour and see where we go. Mm -hmm. And it went well. And then a third person found out about it from first cup and went, Oh, I want this. And they jumped in mm -hmm. and they jumped in at the $50 tier. And after the first one, they said that they loved it so much that they didn't have to, but they increased to the hundred dollar tier. Mm -hmm. Now you might look at that and say, okay, a hundred dollars is a lot of money. A hundred dollars is a lot of money. It's not yep. a small amount of money. I don't have hundreds like falling out of my pockets the way I might, you know, a penny or a nickel. But if you, if you run a school, how much would you pay for valuable information from collective dozens? I think we're some, we're, we're definitely well over a hundred years of martial arts experience. Mm -hmm. I think we're close to a hundred years of martial arts school running experience. Yeah. Yeah. Like it, there's a lot in there. Uh, it's definitely over 50. How much would you pay for that much experience from different perspectives, right? Like probably more than that per hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we had the third one and, and I continued to check in and get amazing feedback from the three people that are participating. And I said, okay, it's time. This is when you and I talked about it. I said, it's time to let everybody know that we're doing this because here's the deal. It checks a lot of boxes. Mm -hmm. It makes your Patreon contribution tax deductible. If, if you didn't consider it already, it, it is now yep. because you're it's making a business school expense. better. Yep. Like, like nobody's going to question that. Two, we receive money. Mm -hmm. Three, as more people come in, there is more value. That's true. Yeah. There'll be more people to bounce ideas off of. Mm -hmm. The inevitable question at that point is, but what if it gets too big? We either split it mm -hmm. or just run more sessions Yeah, because as there's more money, it makes more sense for me to invest more of my time. Of course. So maybe <clears throat> instead of it going from monthly, it goes to every other week. The more frequent it is, the more likely somebody's not going to be able to make more. Of it. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good point. I am. If you've ever watched or listened to martial arts radio beyond this episode, especially an interview episode, you know, I work my tail off to make sure people are heard. If you check out episodes where there are multiple guests, especially guests that don't know each other ahead of time, I think I do a pretty good job of that. It's something that's very important to me. The same thing is going to extend to this. Nothing I do is just like, okay, show up and I'm going to phone it in. Yeah. 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 Because that breaks the value exchange. Um, and these meetings happen over zoom. They're over they're, zoom. They're not in person. So you don't have to live here in Vermont. Correct. Yeah. Over zoom. Um, we have been doing Thursday mornings at nine. Um, I'm aware that that time will likely not work for everyone. Mm -hmm. But again, as we get people in, we'll figure it out. You guys will figure I it out. I have no problem doing an evening one. Yeah, sure. Right? Like there's no time that's going to work for everybody. So if you're, if you're interested and that's the concern, reach out to me. We'll figure this out because I believe wholeheartedly that this is a thing that we can do that is potentially life-changing, school-changing for people. And you don't need to shell out the significant monthly amounts that are required of a lot of alternate way, excuse me, alternate ways of growing your school. Gotcha. Now, what if I'm not a <clears> school owner? 
we're looking at doing something else. I don't quite know what it looks like, though. Okay. Because you and I and, you know, let's say three other people who aren't school owners could get together once a month, once a month and chat and chat about what it's like being a martial artist. Yeah. yeah. That'd be fun. But is that something people are going to pay for? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, we could do one that was more focused. I mean, mm -hmm. if some, if there was a competitor mastermind. Yeah. Yeah. That's something I could do. Sure. If there was a, I don't know, what's an, another kind of niche. Here's one that I couldn't really run, but we could have one that was like, if you want to, if you're a stunt performer, mm. right? Like there, there are more focused things that we could do there, but we haven't found quite what that thing is. Yeah. That makes yet. sense. And that's why the people who are in those top tiers still who are not school owners, I'm doing private calls with them yeah. because we haven't found what that thing is. Gotcha. So if you have suggestions on what that thing might be, I would definitely listen. Yeah. That's great. And I mean, and I can speak, even though I'm not involved, um, you know, one of the people involved uh, has given us permission to say his name yeah. um, that Mark Warner sees such an incredible value that he unsolicited sent an email to me <laughs> and said, I would really like to give a testimonial on how good this mastermind program is. Uh, and he said, yeah, this is all true. And, and, right? and, like, and this is someone who joined because they heard about it yep. and saw the value. And I, I, it might be foreshadowing it. He, I think he mentions how many pages of notes he took yep. in the first yep. two. And, and he said, you know, you, by all means, you're welcome to use my full name. Um, I support this so, so wholeheartedly that it meant enough to me to write this email. And that's pretty amazing. And that speaks a lot. So yeah. would you mind reading? Yeah. It? Yeah. So this is from Mark Warner. So at this point, I'm imagining that people that are paying attention to this episode are either in the car and they don't feel like skipping to something else. Yeah. Or they, they're really interested. And, and so I want to speak to you, you folks specifically. Whether it's not that I don't care if you join, it, it, that's not it. If if the value is not there for you, that is okay. I want you to hear this testimonial as in to me proof that once in a while we knock it out of the park, and I think this is an example of where we've knocked it out of the park. Yeah, yeah. So this was Mark's testimonial. He writes, "I've had a school since 1998, so it's like 25 years, 24 years." I've been in multiple, quote, martial arts business organizations. I can recite all the ideas they would charge you hundreds of dollars for. They come nothing near to the Whistlekick Mastermind group. The first thing you get is a voice that is well-received. Everyone actually listens, and then your ideas get bounced around and improved upon. Then other members give their ideas, and you're like, wow, I've only done a few so far and have already a couple dozen pages of notes. So here's a challenge. I see him. I see him writing. <laughs> he's like, he's... so he can, he finishes and says, so here's the challenge. Try it out and tell me I'm wrong. It'll be worth much more than your time or money. And that's from Mark Warner. That's one of the beauties of, of running this through the Patreon is you get all like, you get the shirt and the stickers and all the other merch stuff that we throw your way, but you can also cancel it anytime. Like there's no, there's no, long-term commitment. I don't like doing long-term commitments, right? If people want out, I want them, if they don't see the value, pull the plug. But that doesn't happen. But it does not. We so rarely lose someone on, on Patreon. Like it's, it's been months. <laughs> For listeners, that was me knocking on a stool that we use as a table. So that's it. Like, is there anything that, that we're missing? Like, can you put yourself in the mind of a school owner and think if you have questions here's a not if i have questions okay. here's what i would be thinking in my head okay the tier to get involved is 50 dollars a month yep if i owned a school to me it would be worth trying it for a month you know like my wife and i run a craft fair mm -hmm. in Keene, and we our first year was last year and we and set, crushed it oh, we as an aside, last year we just barely got 50 vendors. This year, it's still two months before the event, we had 80 vendors. <laughs> anyway, as an aside, um, 
But when we first came out with it last year, we said, you know what? Let's put let's make our booth price twenty five dollars. That's nothing. Yeah. There are some craft fairs that charge no joke one hundred and twenty five dollars for a booth space. But we did it that way. I grew up on the craft show circuit. This is what my mother did. Yeah. In the 80s, there were weekend events in Maine that were $1,000. Yeah. So we figured $25, it's worth it for someone to try it because they're out f five or six hours on the day and it costs them $25. It's like nothing. If they don't like it, they won't come back. Right. right? So if I was a school owner, to me, 50 bucks, mm, I'd try it. What's, try the what's the value of one new student or yeah. a, an hour of your life back per month right like yeah most of the things that we're talking about are either how to bring in students yeah how to make more money from the students you have how to save time or save stress and and the other thing that i'm thinking and you know, i was speaking with a drumming student recently about some drumming positions mm -hmm. jobs and whatnot and, and as much as i don't like that this is the way the world works uh and it's kind of cliche but the cliche is the saying is, it's not what you know, it's who you know, sure. right? And and it's so true in it, so it, many it, aspects. $50 to try it for a month, see what it's like, and you'll make new connections. Because you're going to meet new people, potentially, right? People that are in the mastermind that, that you don't know. It's a good group. You're I gonna, wouldn't let anybody in who wasn't people. good. Who, who isn't good. So that's what I'm thinking in my head. Okay. It's worth it for to try it, at least for a month. All right. So let's wrap it up. Is yeah. There, okay. If you're interested, email me, jeremywhistlekick.com. If you're in, patreon.com slash whistlekick. And you can just sign up right there. And I see that you sign up and I reach out and I'm like, okay, like, are you, you want to do this? Let's do this. Here's the Zoom info. You're good to go. If you have feedback, um, <clears throat> if there's something that's holding you back and you're willing to share, I want to know that. Because okay? I want to find ways to make this better. Maybe, maybe there's something that we're doing that I didn't communicate well that once I, I tell, oh, but we do that or we don't do that. Oh, for example, like it's all private. Like I'm not going to tell anybody who these people are. We yeah. are sharing Mark's name because he gave us permission. Yeah. But we're, it, it's all like non disclosure -y, You know, we keep it private. Um, yeah. Like we're not airing anybody's dirty laundry in there. Yeah. I, I hope I hope those of you watching or listening for whom this is not going to become something a, a thing for you understand what we're trying to do and you see the value and maybe you can see where maybe setting something up like this in your own life with other people yeah. would be amazingly beautifully beneficial because we live in a world that is sound bites and reductionist and often very cynical and negative. And I think that this is the easiest way to combat that. If you're familiar with, um, was it Renaissance era when the concept of the salon? Oh, I don't know. Was invented. Salon wasn't always the place you got your hair cut. It was a, a, a high-minded conversational group where people shared, um, you know, a lot, lot of, lot of like philosophy and like they talked about higher, highbrow topics yeah i think we need more of that so my hope is that you will go ahead and you will whether it's part of ours or you start your own or you find somebody else's i hope you'll be part of that because i think the world needs it okay whistlekick.com slash podcast 15 whistlekick martial arts radio.com for show notes sign up for the newsletter i'm doing one a month yeah me they're back to me so they're very brief <laughs> they're very dense here's what you got to know <laughs> Uh, I do not spend a lot of time on them because I don't have a lot of time to spend on them. We'll see. People are unsubscribing less. Any any newsletter list gets like a cycle. Yeah, they sure. unsubscribe less, so I think they like the style that I'm doing. Our social media is at Whistlekick. Uh, Andrew at Whistlekick, MartialArtsRadio.com, Jeremy at Whistlekick.com. We have training programs and books on Amazon and all kinds of other good stuff. Anything else? Nope. All right. Until next time. Train hard and have a great day. No, we're gonna do the last part together. No, you say train hard. Oh, okay, hold on. Let's Until try again. next time. Take two. Train hard, smile, and, and have, have a great day. day.